is real life, nigga, fuck music Don't matter how I do it, I just do it Never think twice, bro, I just do it 23, 19, just do it This is real life, nigga, fuck music Oh my god, okay, it's happening Everybody stay calm What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait Everybody just calm down! No, no! yo 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 what's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel in today's video gameplay we have another freely downloaded game coming from the google play store and this game is called people say which is kind of like family feud in a way so we have a series of questions and we supposed to answer them correctly to the best of our knowledge so play along with me if you want in the comment section let me know how um how many answers you guys came up with and also subscribe if you guys are new here watching for the very first time and drop a like on this video so it says find the five most given answers to fill in the blanks but there is only three correct answers that they're looking for and i'm assuming that they're going to credit you for two bonus answers that you managed to come up with so the question or the phrase here is, I can't eat a burger without blank. Okay, so, oh, there is five. Okay, so that message was kind of like blocking off the last two answers. So they're kind of giving you the first one and judging by the letters that they have here, I would say cheese, ketchup, maybe tomatoes, lettuce, those are some of the things that you guys can find on a classical burger, you know, at least an American burger. Um, I know when I order like McDonald's, you know, if I'm getting a uh, Big Mac, it comes with lettuce, cheese, tomatoes, pickles, onions. Well, maybe not tomatoes because I don't eat tomatoes, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. Like an American burger usually comes with those particular things on it. So let's go ahead and type in cheese. Then let's go ahead and type in tomato. Let's go ahead and type in ketchup. And I love how they have the letters here already, you know, just in place for you. So all you have to do is just put together the final pieces of the word. All right, uh, let's go with lettuce. And the last one, it has an A and a B in it. I don't get what the AB is. Well, the last three letters obviously spells bun, but that's just weird. You can't eat a burger without a bun. When you think about it, um, there are actual, you know, like inside out burgers and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Where a burger is put in like the actual reverse. So now that we got all five there, our intelligence is going up and that is pretty cool. Did you like this level? This level is pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's go to level two here. My kids want a pet and now we're gonna have to come up with what type of pet here. So let's go with dog. Seeing as we have the first one as a D um c can mean cat let's go with that f could mean fish or frog let's see a kid when i was a kid you know um i didn't really want too many pets because you know you have to deal with managing a pet you know and you're just a child like why should i be responsible for a pet you feel me? This is like basically trying to be responsible of a life. If I'm not taking care of myself, why should I be taking care of a pet? You know, make it make sense. Um, let's go with let's go with fish. OK, we got it. B could mean, let's see, a bird, maybe? Seems a bit on the nose, but let's go with bird. Okay, we got it. And H. Now H can obviously only mean a hamster, but you can also want a horse if you're a child. 
You feel me? Because you want to ride a horse. That's every little girl's dream is to ride a horse. Well, we're going to keep it safe, you know? Keep it small and go with hamster. Let's go. Next level. That intelligence is going up. I feel it. All right, this Joker reveals one random letter. Okay. Ah, I'll never forget my first kiss. That is the obvious first one there. Okay, let's see, what else? I'll never forget my first, hmm. I really don't know. <laughs> I really don't know the rest. Um, but if I wanted to reveal more letters, I would have to use more coins here. Looking at the letters that they provided us with, I'm trying to spell out something. Maybe my first date? Okay. Alright. My first... Hmm. Ooh, my first job. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Hmm. So we have L and then we have a C word. Hmm. My first. My first love. Okay. Okay. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. That intelligence is going up. Okay. And my first car. Wow. Okay. So some of these are really basic and common. How could I forget these things? Well, because I'm getting old. <laughs> but there are certain things in life that you just don't forget, you know? You don't forget certain things. All right, level four. I hated blank class when I was in school. Ooh, let me know in the comment section right now. There's a lot of you guys that are still in school right now. What is that one class subject that you hate? Now, straight off the bat, nobody likes to do math. We all don't like it. It's going to help us in the future, but we don't like doing math. Let's see. History. History can be very boring, and it can also be very fun. I had a very awesome history teacher, and I also had a very awesome social studies teacher. So, huge shout outs to uh, my main guy, Mr. Weinberg. He was just the best guy that you guys can obviously have as a teacher, just the best. Um, and we had uh, Miss Yodelwitz for, you know, uh, social studies and economics. So, huge shout outs to her as well. English. Okay, why the hell did they not? <laughs> there we go. They try to make me look stupid out here. I know I spelled it correctly. All right, what is with the G? What class could be with G? Well, uh, let's just get rid of the elephant in the room here. We got science class. Science class was one of those classes that it was very hard to hate because you did fun things in science class. You experimented. You had all of these, you know, these lab projects and stuff that you had to do. And there were a lot of times where a science teacher would instruct you or basically give you a homework and, you know, like a homework assignment that required you to do certain things that your parents wouldn't allow you to do, you know? So you would bring home this assignment and show it to your parents and they would look and be like, okay, well, I have no other choice. That's your homework, you gotta do it. You feel me? Go ahead and find a frog outside and go ahead and cut him open. <laughs> I'd be like, thank you, science teacher, you're the best. You feel me? We gotta do all these lab experiments, come up with these hypotheses and whatnot. <laughs> all right. Oh, gym class. Okay, I don't know why I don't know why I forgot about gym class. But I think for a lot of people, gym is called something else. 
because we all have different generations where we grew up in, you know, classes were called certain things. So gym for me, I think it was called gym, but it just, I just forgot about it. <laughs> and that's bad. Yo, we're killing it right now. We're killing it right now. Okay, we got a little present. Oh, a little 10 coins, not bad. All right, level five, guys. I always have blank in my purse. All right, I'm not a female, but I do know a couple ladies, and I do know some of you ladies out there in specific be having way too many things in your purse. You're just way too prepared, but there's no such thing as way too prepared for you guys, right? I mean, there's always an incident that's going to happen, and you have to be prepared for those moments. You gotta have the right things on you. So, let's see. My, hmm. Okay, maybe I'm thinking, oh, I was about to say makeup. Okay, let's change that answer there. Uh, hmm. What about a pen? Can a pen be in a in a purse? Awesome, I got it. Um, let's see. We got something that starts with the letter K, something that starts with the letter G, something with the letter M, and then another thing with the letter P. Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to spell something out here in the letters provided at the bottom. So let's see. Oh man, they're, they're really asking for it right now. Like I said, I'm not a female, so I really wouldn't know what would be inside your purse aside from, you know, cosmetics. Um, and you know, that's about it. That's all I know. <laughs> that's all I honestly know. Uh, let's reveal another letter here. Ah, your phone. Okay. Usually people carry their phones in their hands and stuff like that, but carrying your phone in your purse? Yeah, I could, I could see that. Because usually I would carry my phone in my hand or I would put it in, in my actual pants pocket. You know, um, for guys, we don't carry purses around. Um, and most of us, we don't no longer carry wallets and stuff around like that. Even though a phone doesn't go in a wallet, but naturally, we just put our phones in our hands or just leave it in our pocket. Or if you are one of those older gentlemen, you had one of those, you know, those clips that clip onto your belt where you have your phone attached to the clip. <laughs> old school, man. I'm old school. But you won't catch me wearing one of those. Definitely. Um, okay, okay, okay. Uh, we got 110 more coins left. Ah, uh, I'm going for it again. Gum? Oh, okay, you gotta keep your breath fresh. Okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. I'm not even gonna hold you though, I was about to say gun. <laughs> I was just taking it way too far. <laughs> I watch way too many movies, but you never know. A female, they definitely, um, are not to be slept on, you know? In recent attacks and stuff like that, females have had pepper spray, they've had small knives, <laughs> and you know, the occasional weapon if you're um, an officer of the law. Hey, I got a license to carry a gun and I just happen to want to put it inside my purse for, you know, for, for protection. It is what it is out here in these streets. Um, let's see. Oh, keys. Can I put an extra, can I put an extra letter? Okay, that worked. And then we got money. Okay, look at the brain. Look at the brain action coming in. It was a little slow there. I forgot. You gotta have your keys and you gotta have money on you at all times. But a lot of you girls don't carry bills around. You carry several credit cards or debit cards. Nothing wrong with that, you feel me? But I do know personally that a lot of people that I talk to, they don't carry bills anymore. 
because people are often getting robbed for having bills on them and then people are often getting robbed for credit cards and stuff like that as well but the thing is with credit cards you can instantly shut it down before someone actually gets a chance to use it as comparable to money you can't stop the money money is paper it can just be passed along I love seeing blank at Christmas okay what do we love seeing um, we love seeing lights lit up we love seeing the lights we love seeing uh, snow during Christmas time yeah you know white Christmas not a racial slur but I'm meaning um, actual white snow coming down on actual Christmas day it's a rarity I have never seen snow come down on a Christmas day it's either a week before Christmas or several weeks after Christmas but I've never had a actual white Christmas like I never woke up and said oh my god I look out my window and you know there's like 10 feet of snow I've never had that I don't know about you guys but let me know in the comment section if you had one um, we love to see gifts yeah presents gifts should be around the same thing um, we love to see F and there's something with an S. We love to see food. <laughs> I would love to see my parents cook a nice, nice, genuine uh, Christmas dinner and wake up to, you know, some Christmas breakfast, you know, pancakes, bacon, eggs, sausage, the good stuff. Um, let's see. F, 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 F. Um, and then there's an S. Well, I, S could stand for Santa, right? We love to see Santa on Christmas. Well, you would love to see it if it were, <laughs> if it were true, you know? But most of us get spoiled. We end up seeing our parents sneaking downstairs, putting the stuff underneath the tree. So yeah, you could debunk the whole Santa theory and throw it out the window early. The last thing is family. We love having family members come over during holiday seasons, um, specifically during, you know, Christmas, New Year's, that sort of thing. I stay up late at night blank when I should just go to sleep. I stay up late doing homework at night. A lot of us are guilty of doing that. We put it off. We want to enjoy our afternoon when we come in from school and we just say, you know what, I'll do the homework later and we end up staying late staying up late doing homework and then not being able to get up on time for school it's happened to me a couple times guilty as charged um on my phone oh god this is definitely me i should be sleeping but instead i'm on my phone and you know what i'm doing on my phone i am scrolling through social media i am planning my next video content and i'm also gaming <laughs> Uh, watching TV, oh yeah, guilty as charged with that one as well. It's nothing better than watching sitcoms at like 2 o'clock in the morning. You feel me? Watching some reruns. Watching Full House, Friends, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, those type of sitcom shows. Watching uh, that, so, uh, that 70s show, um, Seinfeld, um... George Lopez. Oh man, I love George Lopez. Yo, I'm getting into my bag of TV shows right now. But I'm not going to let you guys know any more TV shows because I don't want you to be copycats, all right? I watch good stuff. And the last one is stay up night, stay up late, excuse me, at night. Uh, what is this R word? Eating? Do we stay up late eating? I think we do. Sometimes I may need a midnight snack. Yeah, I'm guilty of that. What is the last one? Hmm, let's see, there's an R. I really don't know this one. And we're out of coins we literally only have 10 okay we're not installing and oh man 
We might as well watch a video. Here we Are go. Are you really playing games on your phone right now? Yeah. Yes, I am. This is what real vacation looks like for me. Plus, I'm earning gift cards. What? How? I downloaded this app on my phone called Misplay. I play games and earn gift cards. So all you did was play games and you get gift cards? Yeah. All right. Last time I got in trouble for having uh, ad play and someone tried to claim my video. So I muted that. This is a scam anyway. Don't download this app. <laughs> You're not going to get anything from it. All right, there we go. Let's use the hint. Oh, reading. <laughs> Obviously, I don't know this because I don't read. Who the hell stays up late at night reading? Well, there are a few of you guys that like to read out there and I won't I won't take that away from you. But me personally, no. I haven't read a single book since I was a little child. In an actual book, I mean like a actual like chapter book. The last book I think I read was Monster back in my day. So Monster was a good book that was recommended to us by the school and we had to read it for, you know, a, a project in school and then it just became a book that I, you know, honestly just couldn't put down. So I started reading it and every once in a while I'll see it in my storage unit and I might pick it up just to read it, but that's the closest you're going to get to me actually reading anything. Now there's a such thing as audiobooks now, but Reading is just so goddamn boring. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, last one here. I bought a new suit for, let's see. I bought a new suit for a wedding. There we go. We like to look our best. Tuxedos and everything like that. Bought a new suit for a date. Yeah, that makes sense, right? You bought a new suit for a party. Ooh, interesting, interesting. All right. Um, you bought a new suit for a, hmm. What could the F word be? And what could the J word be? Hmm. I don't know these last two. What other reasonings could there be for you buying a new suit? You have the venues in a wedding. You have the occasion for a party. You have the date. You could buy a new suit for like taking a picture but that's not up there. And then you can also buy a new suit just because you want to buy a new suit. Maybe your old suit doesn't fit anymore. Um, but those are just like two logical answers. We don't want that kind of, we don't want that kind of simple answer. I honestly don't know this one. But I'm gonna leave this up to you guys. If you guys know the last two answers, let me know in the comment section. Once again, this game is called People Say, and it's kind of like Family Feud, and it's available in the Google Play App Store. It's free to download, and it doesn't take up a lot of space. So go ahead and download for yourselves and test how far you guys make it, and come back to this video and let me know what level you end up making it to. Drop a like on this video and subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey yo, what the fuck? That was totally wicked! That I do what I just do. I'm trying to make my mama proud of me. I hope my mama proud of me. Cause I dubbed college just so I could focus on a dream. I know my mama died of me, salute me, nasty down with me. Now two bros going back and forth, sibling rivalry. Who the side gotta be? Do numbers like the lottery. The coldest every winter, every summer night, hot as me. And if I spring up, then my nigga on the side of me. Ready for a war?